Hello fellow ranchers, we are back and it's time to get moving. We're here on our brand new playthrough. So uh, Beatrix LeBeau, we're, we're here on our range a thousand whatever miles away. We're in the middle of nowhere. We're going to learn the ropes of slime ranching. So yes, let's all do it. Let's do it. It's very weird seeing all these things for the first time, but this is going to be interesting. So I think what we're going to do here, the approach I'm going to take, is I'm going to try and barrel through a lot of the game. Uh, I'm going to, not a, a total speed run, because that's, we're not speed runners by any measure. However, I think we're, what we're going to do is, uh, oh no, the, we don't need you here, we want you here. There you go. You can go in there, right? Or I guess we could put the other ones in there, can we? Or do we, let's see. It's been so long since I've actually set it as a... Right, no. So, uh, why don't we make a coop for you guys right now? Because we don't have any free range zones or anything. Now this little guy is going to want to get out of there. But uh, we're going to wait on that. Okay, so you too. He's, this one's going to get in there. Let's gather some food. Let's feed these guys. And by guys, I don't literally mean guys because you're slimes. I, I don't think you're gendered. I don't think you, you actually reproduce even. The slime seed gives uh gives it you to us. We'll confirm there's nothing hiding in the in the brush. Okay. And let's feed you guys. Let's feed you slimes. Oh yeah. Sweet, sweet plorits. Yeah, I would love some economy. There we go get those plorts. And there we go. We acquired acquired a slime plort. Let's go sell them. Perfect. Alright, so there's another... Did you get out or are you a different one? Are you, you're not spawning here, are you? Alright, they're gonna try and get out soon though. So we have 44 new bucks. That's not much. Uh, all the other zones are currently locked off to us we can head out this way. I think that's what we're going to go do. Oh, there we go. That about covers the basics. Yeah, so that is about it. So we'll grab whatever we can resource-wise as we wander around here. Stop these guys from eating everything. Stop eating my carrots. They are my carrots, I tell you. And I guess uh, we will just... Maybe we'll focus on you guys initially? Now oh, we got some star mail from Casey. We'll go check that out in a minute here. Interesting. It feels like there's more um, slimes that um, appear in the initial, um, the, the first time you walk out here. Because it seems to me normally you don't have that many slimes. Okay, so we've got some pogo fruit. Take those plorts. Let's head on back. Ooh, I will take these as well. Beautiful, they didn't get those. Haha. -ha. Oh, and I guess this is our map to the zone. Oh, no, this is Hobson's message. Hello, Beatrix. The name's Hobson Twilgers, rancher, explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember and felt there was one adventure left in me, so I've set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love, so keep your peepers peeled for notes like these if you want to hear what an old coot has to say every now and again be talking to you, H. So, Hobson's going to tell us uh, his story, his thoughts about this place as we wander around. I'm excited to hear more about those. Okay, now, um, I think first things first, let's sell these plorids. Now, we can see here we're going to get 11 for these. So, the plort market's actually not so bad on these at the moment. But I don't even think that's enough to get high walls. What do high walls cost us? High walls are 350. I would like to get some of the high walls because uh, you guys are going to cause me trouble. I'm going to just dump all my food in here. I don't really care too much. Yeah, you guys eat that. I'm going to go out and get... Oh, we got a, a range request. Oh, the, no, there's not one yet. So that's going to be a place where we can get uh, requests from other ranchers to provide resources. 
but we're not quite at that point. Oh, we had a letter from Casey. Well, we'll go check that in a sec. I'm gonna just wander down and see if I can get some more food and also some more, ooh, some more resources. Let's get some chickies. Okay, I will take the florets as we go. I will also take that. Is that, no, I thought it was bogo fruit. I think I'm done getting any more slime for the moment. Well, I think my inventory is almost done. May as well just throw one more in there. Look at these cute little kitties. Look at these cute little kitties. Oh, is that the wrong kind of chickadee? Look at you. Look at you little tabby tabs. Oh, tabby slimes are so cute. Okay, what are you guys doing over here? Ooh, Largo slimes are slime hybrids. Formed when the slime meets a port, unlike its own. Vac to keep them on your nozzle, or shoot to send them flying. Largo slimes. All right, I don't know if we, did we just see one or something? Oh, this guy right here. You, look at you, you big cutie. Oh, oh. Let's see, can you turn around so we can see you? There we go, I'm gonna take a screenshot of you. Very cute. Yeah, you are. Oh, look at both of you, you're riding around. Oh boy, you are all having fun. Their behavior is hilarious. You keep wanting to jump on my head, do you? You are a big cutie. You are a big cutie. Oh, I can't even get you. I can't even get you. All right, well, I'm gonna keep on moving. How about we do that? Now, oh wait, the, these chickadees, so these, oh, the, I could get these, perfect. Okay, so let's, I think we'll, uh, we'll head on back here. These, oh, these are done now. Good timing. All right, let's go see what Casey had to say. And also let's sell these plorts. Wow. So each day the market's gonna shift and today we have, uh, since the market's at 11, let's make the most of this. So we still need a little bit here, but let's go see here. Star mail. Rise and shine, Casey. Hi B. what's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what that's like. 7Z wants to put you in a pod and then lights out for all that time. Wow. What's the far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air as clean as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I better leave it to you and just keep it short. Good luck, B. If anyone can make it out there, it's you, Casey. And here's our welcome. Welcome to the Far Far Range from the 7Z Corporation. Ms. LeBeau, the 7Z Corporation would like to welcome you to the Far Far Range. Welcome and extend our support in and extend our support in your bold new venture as a slime rancher. Support extended. We'd also like to request that you exercise caution in your first few days on the range until you get more familiar with your surroundings. Travel at night is not advisable. Lastly, should you require any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your slime matching experience easier, the 7Z Corporation would be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house. The 7Z Corporation, providing the tools you need to get the job done for us. For a small fee, the 7Z Corporation. They're not the world's most cynical corporation, no. They're, they're doing it for the good of uh, all of us, I guess. Oh, yeah, let's, let's feed you guys some carrots. Hmm. Hey, carrot. Get down here. Okay. So, these little critters are only going to do... Uh, they're going to do so much plorting in a day. It's only so much we can get. How much did I say we need to... I already forgot. High wall, 350. Okay, let's go sell these, and we can do that. And then I'll throw a whole pile of slimes in there. Beautiful. 385 we're at. Just the right amount. All right, let's get some high walls. And then let's pile a bunch of slime in here. Okay, now I'm gonna put the rest of these chickadees in here. Ooh, some of them already turned into hens. Okay, so we're gonna want, uh, at some point, I get, uh, we probably want some high walls for these, these little critters. 
350 for them as well. We can get better grass and vitamins for them as well. And with these ones over here, these the pens that keep them, we can get things to relax them, things to uh, keep them in. That will be a good one. Um, this is if we have ones that are sun sensitive, we can cover them with solar shield. Plort collector, so it automatically vacuums up the plorts and not the food. And then one that we put the food into, which drops the food out as we need it. And then of course we can destroy the plots and uh, replace them as needed, turn them into whatever. So we can grow, uh, we can put slimes, we can have gardens, we can grow fruits and vegetables here. We can have a coop for the chickens, a silo that stores stuff, an incinerator that just burns stuff. <laughs> it just burns stuff up. And a pond um, where you can keep water slimes. So those are basically the, the main things. So I think we're gonna start just focusing on the basic slimes you can see they're already doing okay in here. They've eaten up all that food. So our job really is just to keep them fed at the moment. That's what we're gonna focus on for the first little bit here. Now I think we've we've got enough of them in there at this exact moment, and uh, we're just gonna keep out exploring. So let's continue on a little further down here. Oh. And we'll try and get those. Will you come to me? There we go, Boga Fruits. Seven more of those. So yeah, I'm just going to basically focus on the food. That's my big uh, prerogative here. We've got lots of little critters to keep fed. Get more chickies. Ooh, a roostro. Now we want one of these because this is going to help us with uh, making more more hens. More, chi more chickadoos. Okay, so let's go over here. So you can see we have some different slime types that are, are showing up. These are phosphor slimes. These are going to be nighttime ones. Oh, oh, right. We can only take two at 20. Oh, I'm so used to being able to take more. We're so spoiled. We are so spoiled. I think I saw you trying to eat that chick. Okay, chickadoo. So yeah, look at these little cuties. Phosphor slimes. Whoa, look at this. Look at this one. A phosphor tabby mix? That's really cool. Look at you. I, You know, I don't think I've ever made phosphor tabbies. I mean, I, yeah, I'm assuming that's what you are, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're big cuties. Hmm. No matter how much you play this game, I find I stick to certain types, and then I've, I've never bothered with certain other ones. Oh, no. I just want to get a picture of you, you big cutie. You're hard to... They're hard to... They don't want to behave. They don't want to listen to you. There we go. All right, well, let's go back now. And uh, here's our map. This is going to give us a map for this region. So now we can see where, where we are and what it looks like. It tells us up top there's three keys... Uh, 14 secret pods that are going to give us little goodies and stuff. And uh, that's about, that's all we need to know. Now let's go steal all their carrots. Sorry. And we've got rock slimes here too. These ones will cause us damage. Um, and we can only sustain so much before we get knocked out and then we lose our resources. So we've got to watch it. Our health is at 50, 30. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just going to get out of there now. Now health regens, but it takes a little bit. You can see we're very, we're not that strong right now. We don't have many upgrades or anything that, you know, really help us out. So at nighttime is when the phosphor slimes come out because that's when um, the sun isn't going to burn them up. So in the daytime, those things disappear because they get burned up. Okay. So for the old hands, for slime ranchers that have uh, played this many times, I'll be saying a lot of stuff that probably is, you know, you're, you're like, yeah, 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 we've done it. But I'm going to go through this kind of assuming we're playing at a um, combination of, you know, you might be watching this if this is your first time playing this game. Or if you, you've just, you know, you don't know. Uh, and then you know, some of you will just know everything. So we'll, we'll try and accommodate both. So if I miss something or you have a question about something, just ask a question in the comments there. Uh, we've played through the whole game as it stands currently, so we've seen, I think, most things um, that it has to offer. So I think we can probably answer most of your questions. We, I did a whole other series that was a couple hundred episodes 
Um, but it, it's a fun world to be in and to play in. And so there was a request to do more. I thought, okay, well, yeah, we should definitely do more, but maybe just starting from scratch would be fun, which I, I think it kind of is. Because I played the game originally as it was being kind of, um, the updates were coming out when this was being developed. So we, we played along for a long time, and but we played it out of order in a way. Or not out of order, but we didn't play it. Oh, look at these guys. See, these Tars, um, if they... <laughs> you get too many things eating the wrong forests. You get these things. And they, they're not pleasant. They want to attack us. They want to uh, attack the other slimes. And they turn the slimes into Tars. They don't like water. Um, oh, there was water there. Rats. I'm sorry, slimes. I would have got some. Hmm. Um, what was I in the middle of saying? I don't even know anymore. The Taros distracted me so badly. But yeah, if you there's 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 so many things. So we yeah we were playing along as it. Uh, oh look at this guy's trying to get in here. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. So usually the there's kind of an invisible barrier here. So these slimes tend to be kept out. Um, but I guess once in a while they sneak on through. And our job is to kind of prevent that, essentially. Now those, every slime has a particular diet as well. So what we'll find is that... Um, hmm, I, I will go up here now. Oh, see, there's a tar up there. Now they... I don't even know what the... I haven't... It's been so long since I paid attention to damage and such. So we can... Oh, we can't do that yet. No, it's an upgrade. It's an upgrade to get the water. Oh my gosh. So right now... Well, let's let's get a little bite. Why don't, you, why don't you give us a little bite there, buddy? Okay, it's 20. It does 20 damage. So you don't want to hang around too long with those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got a phosphor plart out of the deal. Um... So yeah, the uh, as we played the game previously as it was being you know, developed, and uh, it was it was kind of cool playing it that way. But we had little lulls in between um, development stages. But I thought it would be fun to actually see the game as a whole because we we didn't we played it in dribs and drabs and um, yeah it was it was it was cool and I got a sense of it. But I kind of wanted to see what it'd be like to try to race through the whole thing all at once. So that's kind of what motivated us as well. Okay, so we got a, quite a few slimes here. Or some, not plorts, I should say. Now, yeah, every, as I was saying, every slime has a different um, type of uh, food. So if we look in our Slimepedia, the pink slime diet, fruit, veggies, meat, it eats anything. These things love everything. They're pretty easy, but you don't get a lot of money for their plorts. Now the phosphorus slime, they only like fruit. They love Q-berries, which means they'll give you double plorts if you feed them those things. They come out at night, but they burn up. So you gotta you gotta store them properly. So you can either put a protective covering, or later we may unlock another little region here that's underground. What do they call this? The grotto? Mm-hmm. So we need 1795. It's a dark, gloomy cavern. So like most of these kind of economic games, I mean, ultimately this is a very economic game. We're trying to get resources and then use the resources to upgrade other things, essentially. All right, so let's push ahead a little bit farther here. So we'll go on out. Our health is back at 100%. I'm not terribly worried about uh, these guys too much. It's also, they're gonna start burning out. We're going to go out to the next area. And what do we have down here? Well, we've got more of, more of all this stuff. More of all these. Oh, we got some rock slimes. These guys are cute, but uh, they... And they give us rock ports, which we do want. And another story from Hobson. What do we got here, Hobson? I had a great big tree like this here one along the edge of my property back on Earth. It had been there before anyone could remember. It survived all kinds of change around it, and then one day I began to notice it was dying. It wasn't anything unnatural. It wasn't anything unnatural. It was just its time, I suppose. And then I realized that if I didn't do something, I'd end up like that tree. I'd spend my whole life in the same place. 
I wasn't going to let that happen, so I bought a ticket for the far, far range the very next day. All right. So, Hobson, that's the story of why Hobson headed out here. Oh, and we've got Q-berries. Beautiful. And, oh, for some... Ah, 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 get rid of this. Okay, this, that's worth a lot to us. That's a gold plort left by a gold slime. That means a gold slime appeared here. And, uh... It, it must have popped and left one. Gold slimes are worth a fortune. We love them. Because you can get rich very quick. That's a very nice thing to give us at the beginning of the game. Um, they don't have a favorite food, but they basically if you see, see when you blast them with some food and they may leave some gold plorts. You can't get too close or they'll just disappear. So that's uh, also very cool. And uh, this will be another region we're going to try and unlock over here. The Mossy Blanket. Very nice and luscious place, like a jungle. And here we have a, ta uh, a Gordo, sorry. This one's a Tabby Gordo. Then you're going to have to feed these things their favorite food. It says diet meat. We're going to feed this thing until it bursts, and then there'll be... Either it'll give us some stuff, or there might be something special underneath of it. So that's that's the basics right there. And this has turned into a mess. So let's get out of here. That's not very fun at all. So yeah, I think we we kind of ran through the, the, the essentials, at least. This is the zone that we're able to operate in to start with. And uh, from this point on, it, we, there's another Gordo over there. There's a big one. Um, we're going to discover a lot more things. There's other regions we're going to get to go to. Uh, we'll check that one out later. Again, we're locked out of a lot of these. Actually, you know what? Let's, we'll head down there. We'll read Hobson's message and then we'll check out something here. The, this entire cave system was sealed off from a cave-in when I first discovered it. Maybe that's why the fellows up ahead are so grumpy. Haven't had a bite in a long time. In any case, don't let that long-awaited bite come from your own rump. Bring some food to calm them down. H. Okay. So, what's he going to be talking? Oh, we got some, some grumpy slimes right there. So, we'll go through this cavern, and we come on to a place where we have a door with a key. We require a slime key to open this. We don't have one of those. So, well, some of them have, you know, you can tricksily work around some of the, the doors. Um, we don't have, whoa, those are unpleasant. Uh, we don't have what it takes at the moment. So that's something we're going to earn later on. But that probably sums up the bulk of the game, really. Uh, there's a lot of exploration. There's a lot of cool stuff we're going to discover as we wander around. And uh, as we also build up our, our ranch here, we optimize, essentially, figure out the best way to do it. We're going to unlock more zones with more plots, more things for us. There's uh, so many things in this game. It, it really, the more I'm starting out as a, a novice here, where, where's a hen coming from? You can see we got some basic upgrades right away. Water tank, jet pack upgrade, more uh, heart power, so we don't, or heart... Uh, whatever, more stamina, hearts and stamina, essentially. Power core will give us more boost. Uh, yeah, that's just so the hearts, like if we get bitten, we won't die or get knocked out because you don't die in this game. You just get knocked out and that's unpleasant. And then tank booster, that can, we can hold more stuff. That one I think is going to be a quick one I'm going to go with. Um, that's kind of nice. Anyway, I think we're going to take a break right there. Uh, this is our, our standing spot. We'll take a look around. Look at the ranch. It looks pretty bleak and empty to me. But soon enough, this will be a bustling hub of activity. All right. Thanks for joining us. Until next time. Bye-bye.